At Cumbria CVS, the first event of its kind for the region was hosted by Cumbria Action for Sustainability. Today is Cumbria's first Climate Emergency Action Summit. It's a response to demand from communities who would like to see implementation plans, citizens' assemblies after the declarations from local authorities. It's also a response from the local authorities themselves asking us for case study examples, who's done the best things elsewhere, who's the furthest ahead, what do we actually need to do to get to zero carbon, how do we engage with our citizens, how do we communicate this, how do we work in partnership and who should we be working in partnership with. The audience in attendance was made up of a myriad of different parties. I'd say about 30% of the audience are councillors, um, elected representatives from across the county, from different districts. Um, some of them are chairs of the environment um, subcommittees, for example, the cross-party working groups. Um, some of them are council staff, um, so who have it in their role to actually implement the climate emergency motions. We've got a lot of activists, a lot of members of the public, a lot of sustainability groups who are really keen to take this forward and also offer the skills and the networks that they have to get things moving. And we've got some businesses in the room as well, so the small businesses in Cumbria who are really trying to drive this forward in the work that they do. CAF say that while some of the speakers had been brought in, there was a lot of knowledge right on their doorstep. It's going absolutely amazingly. There's so much engagement in the room and people aren't just asking questions, they're putting forward solutions, they're contributing their opinions, their expertise, because there's so much expertise in Cumbria already. Um, so the person who leads Shared Future, for example, the national expertise um, on setting up citizens assemblies and juries, they're from Kendall. Paul Allen, who spoke from Central for Alternative Technology, he's a Penrith lad originally. A lot of the staff in CAFs that expertise is local, so although we've brought in expertise from elsewhere, I think the, um, yeah, the expertise is in the room and that's very clear from the buzz of conversation around the day. The event was sponsored by Yorkshire-based company Ecology Building Society. Ecology was set up nearly 40 years ago to support environmental lending for people to build energy efficient homes and to retrofit their homes to a high energy efficiency standard. Um, we. Um, we effectively declared a climate emergency when we were set up and um, we're really pleased to be here. There's been a fantastic turnout from all across the county. Um, Ecology is based in Yorkshire and Ecology focuses on providing lending for sustainable building. One of the guest speakers was from a council in Gloucestershire who shared his own experience with carbon neutrality. We were the first council to become carbon neutral in our own operations and one of the first to declare climate change emergency. I've been talking about some of the experiences of what Stroud District Council is doing to actually move the whole district to becoming carbon zero, some of the challenges, some of our successes. I think it's important for us all to share uh, our knowledge with other councillors and it's great coming here and hearing I'm picking up tips. It's not just me giving my, 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 my uh, good news story or what we've done, it's also really interesting hearing what other councillors are doing, what other community groups are doing. Because we, we can't all do it, you know, we don't know everything and it's important to learn from each other. And we spoke with another guest speaker who is a teenage climate activist. Um, so today I was speaking a bit about my personal climate journey because I feel like a lot of speeches are quite, I don't know, isolated terms like existential threat and all these words, they just go straight over my head most of the time. And um, so I feel like it's a lot more human talking about things that directly affect people. Events like this are important to me because this is an issue that affects my life directly and if we don't do something about this now I'm actually going to die and um, I think it's important that we get the message across that this is a serious issue and this is happening and um, if they don't listen it's, it's going to have like catastrophic effect. So. With the County Council's recent pledge for carbon neutrality, the climate protest last Friday and this summit the issues discussed have never been closer to the forefront of our minds. Kira McFadgen, That's TV.